what's going on guys so welcome back to another episode of threat hunt so finally we are resuming the full series and today we are going on cloud okay so our whole hypothesis uh, how our whole threat hunt episode is revolving around uh, cloud this time okay so this is our hypothesis as straight in front of your screen so we are going to leverage and the, the data set that we are talking about is cloud trail logs okay um, so if you guys already know about cloud trail so basically CloudTrail captures each and every API calls that generates on your AWS account, right? So whatever you do on the cloud, on any of the AWS uh, resources, it could be instance, it could be security group, it could be VPC and um, whatnot. Okay. So whatever activity you do on AWS, it is logged in AWS CloudTrail. Okay. So that is our data set. And what is the hypothesis that we are targeting? Okay. So attacker might be doing recon activity on your AWS account uh, will with something like well-known um, Linux operating system, like the way we have seen like pen tester keep on doing uh, like Kali Linux, then Parrot, all those way stuffs and uh, so we will be targeting for today's hunt on Kali Linux and we will try to drill down what other activities uh, we could see if attacker is trying to uh, do some enumeration onto your AWS account try to brute force onto your AWS account and then do some harm onto your AWS account right so that is our hypothesis okay so now as far as our old techniques first we will do the initialization and if you are new to this threat hunt episode i will recommend you please please go through day eight and day nine of our threat hunt episode and there is a whole set of like 10 episodes i made with jupiter okay so for basic understanding how to create your um like this jupiter notebook how to set that up everything has been covered over there okay so like the old school way we are going to do the initialization so we are using apache uh, PySpark. we are creating a session and from that we are starting our hunting okay so initialization has been done so now we we need to do the data okay so far on our overall threat hunt episode with jupiter so we have uh, taken almost like every kind of data for but for this episode we are going to leverage on csv data okay so uh, previously we are worked on like json data uh, mostly json data but this time i wanted to show you guys uh, some csv data as well okay so what i can do if i do a quick ls over here uh, like the way we do it in Jupyter. So if you see, I have here a trail.csv data, okay? Which is basically the trail logs um, I have dumped from my own AWS account. Um, so I will be doing the hunt and there are some some minor like uh, attacker perspective has been done before I tried to capture that. So you can, uh, you know, in your actual environment, you will be seeing exact same copies of your data if you are uh, leveraging your trail logs. Okay. So now starts our hunting. Okay. So before even doing that, so if obviously we now need to do our uh, like uh, creation of our temporary database that we need to do over here so for that um, as the <coughs> sorry excuse me uh, old school technique ways we will be creating a temporary value variable where is called sd file and inside that we will be creating a temporary uh, table okay so we can name it at trail okay and inside that trail table we will be having everything okay so now we are we are ready so everything is now inside the trail data and we are going to hunt using that so what is our first analytics for this hypothesis right so you will remember uh, we are going to hunt for anomalous uh, like Kali Linux or anomalous Linux operating system which might be uh, leveraging our AWS account okay or which might be trying to harm on our AWS account. So first just to see um, whether like how many IAM users are in our current data set okay. So for doing that particular thing, so what we are going to do, let me add another uh, indentation up over here. So what I am doing, I am selecting distinct count, right? And this is my table or this is my column name rather I can say, okay. Uh, but how do I know this is my uh, uh, like uh, 
कॉलम नेम ओके सो इट इन आवर प्रीवियस एपिसोड दे आर वॉज अ नेम्ड कॉलम नेम राइट बट फॉर ट्रेल डेटा दिस इज द वे द ट्रेल डेटा कम्स ओके बट फॉर योर प्रोडक्शन पर्पज इट कूड बी समथिंग एल्स ऑल्सो बट हाउ वी कैन वेरीफाई दैट राइट सो इफ यू जस्ट सिंपली डू अ स्टार ओवर हेयर एंड इफ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो इट लाइक वॉट आर द अदर डेटा टेबल्स सो यू सी दीज डेटा टेबल्स आर कॉलम्स नेम एज लाइक सी जीरो सी वन सी टू एंड टिल लाइक सी फिफ्टीन but for your case it could be something else also right it could be uh like here as like username it could be the api key it could be uh the date it could be the resources and stuff like that okay but for my data since i have this kind of mapping so i just need to remember each and every column name okay so but for your case it might be something else okay so just a small trick over here right okay so uh back to my old query so what i am trying to do over here i am trying to look for my trail data trail is my table name basically what i have created over here and next i am going to hunt for the c0 so that is my basically iam okay i am name so now here i am seeing these are my i am names now if you put a notice over here so i am already seeing root username right so that is an i am name root credentials being used so now for some cases it is very much uh, you know critical for you guys to um, because from security perspective we recommend not to use your root account for your day to day activity so this is a bad hygiene right so you can already getting some like you know some different kind of aspect while you are hunting on your data set right okay so you have uh, all of your data set now now if you want to identify what are all unique uh, like api calls that has been made i was talking about you the api calls right but before even you go for the hunting you need to know what all my data set i am working on my data set is cloud trail that is fine but what are the other aspect that i am also working on right so if i just want to show you over here oops there seems to be some mistake over here yeah so i need to remove this one sorry bad syntax keeps on happening all the time but yeah so <clears throat> excuse me uh, again i am selecting my distinct uh, column names and this time i am selecting my c4 because i know that is my api calls right now my these are all of my api names so that means whatever activity someone is trying to do on my aws account i am capturing each and everything like create tag start instances create add ons create fleet put rule release addresses and all those stuffs and like say as well create bucket um then create access keys create create roles put targets and all those stuff like delete cluster run instances all those stuff so i told you right whatever activity you do on your aws account on the cloud specific itself everything get captured over here right so i know like okay so these are my api calls so down the line uh, we will be using some machine learning algorithm as well to try to identify anomalous api calls as well but for today's episode it is like uh, something like 101 hunting on cloud trail so i want to keep it like as simple as that so that you guys don't lost okay now comes the interesting part so identify kali linux usage or any of your api calls right so that is our main hunting intention right okay so for doing that what we can do let me add up another indentation over here now let's focus on what i am trying to see so c7 is my user agent i know because i have used my data for you you might be do a little bit of tricking and you you will know right what is c7 this is my user agent and on my user agent i am trying to identify what is kali linux okay as you can see over here right so if i put a search over here now you see i have identified an user agent obviously this is an mozilla this is the abbreviation that comes gen by default and now if you see over here kali linux and version is coming up right so there are some api calls there are some data on my data set which by like which has been done using kali linux okay so this is my first pivot point okay so i have got some hint so moving on what i can identify what all api calls that has been made by kali linux right so that might give us some interesting input to identify what activity the someone the attacker or the pen tester or whatever maybe the user is trying to do so what i am doing i gain the select a uh, conversation and i am trying to do the api calls and then what i am trying to do using kali where the 
like cloud trail c7 which is basically you know c7 is the user agent as i have shown you is kali so i am putting i am just extracting the api call now you see this is terminate instances wow so that means someone has might be i am not sure at this point of time someone might got access to my account and they are trying to do some terminate instances right so that is something like in the kill chain or in the mitre framework at the very last right so now it is interesting for me to understand like what everything like what other are like what all other activities that has been done using kali linux that i can simply identify just by running this query select star right so here i have selected one particular thing but here i am selecting everything right okay select star from trail again where everything is kali right now if you see here and if you notice so this is my the full log that i am getting over here okay so now the interesting part what i want to focus in this whole log if i scroll up a little bit about this ip address guys right so again so this is the terminate instance log that we have seen over here in this particular area but this is the terminate instance log but which is coming from this particular ip address guys right so now what i can do i can simply copy this ip address and if i do a quick virus total scan about this ip address you know just to see what is my ip address and what is this particular thing all about let me see what comes up okay so you see this is this is a microsoft ip address by the way but this is suspicious right so that means someone is legitimately trying to do some harm on my aws account and they are trying to use kali linux they are trying to terminate my instances now my question is how they got access to my account even before do the terminate instance right how do they know all of the instances and stuff like that because they are trying to kill this particular instance right so whatever we have seen so far this is the instance name basically so they need to know this instance name right so for doing that they have to first log into the fws account and then they need to go for it right so what we can do now our pivot point is this ip address guys okay so for doing that what we can do we can go for like all api calls resources time where we match about this particular ip address okay so that should be our next query okay so now let me quickly run that next query and see i am selecting these api calls all resource names and time information where my api like my ip address is this one okay and i am shorting it by trail c2 what is trail c2 for me if you do the c2 over here this is the time zone guys so right so i am sorting it by that way okay so if i do run it properly so now you see this is something like a like chronological order so the terminate instance comes at very last okay so now if you see from this particular ip address you see console login attempts right so someone from this particular ip address tried to do some console login okay so there are some delete clusters things as well but i am not considering this for at this point of time because i see on my whole data set first console login because someone has to first go to my kws account they need to get that credential they need to go into that account and then they need to go to the harm right so for doing that they first need to do the console login then they can do everything okay so now i know that someone has tried to do the console login okay so what next so what i can do i can now search for this console login events coming from this particular ip address right so this is my api call that i am targeting for this particular point of time so now if you see this is my ip address obviously and now i am selecting everything okay so now this is making some kind of uh you know uh a good like good indication guys right so you see failed authentication over here again you see there is a failed authentication okay so by the way root user was getting used for this particular uh, uh login credential okay so they might be trying to brute force our root user um which got failed okay which got failed but for this particular session if you see here this is also got successful okay so this is the abbreviation of uh the um the user agent but i don't see any error logs over here so that means they might have got successful attempts okay 
again just remember this is a dummy data but for your uh, organization if you are hunting on product data the the uh, number of failed attempt might be more okay okay so this is the aws uh, login console login guys so whatever i have i can see at this particular point of time at my uh, at my uh, position so now what i can do uh, maybe i can run another indentation and just to only search for the error codes okay that might give me some more hint okay and i can see the timelines over here guys right so now if you see over here um so failed authentication right as i see for this particular two events and this particular event has came at this particular point of time and this one uh same time right obviously the same time and here i don't see any error so that means this is the successful login attempts right so someone from the that 13 dot ip address tried to brute force to my account they got access at this time right now if i scroll up over here um this was the last console login guys right so as we have seen null that means successful and forwarded by that they tried to terminate my instances right so that means it's proved my hypothesis at this point of time so we started trying to identify kali linux usage uh, which is might be anomalous uh, might be linux uh, user agent for us and we ended up uh, to prove our hypothesis as it's like it's a true positive someone tried to brute force us from a known malicious ip address they got access to our account they get into our account and they terminated the instances right so yeah so by this is the way that you can use jupyter notebook and you can use your uh, uh, you can proceed your hunt like this is a very simple hypothesis guys so this is a base okay now you can go back to your sock you can now play around with it and you can you know you can pull up this particular hypothesis okay so now if you don't identify something as kali linux maybe you can try for searching something else which might can give you some other inferences as well right so yeah that's pretty much it for this particular episode i just wanted to show you guys how to uh, leverage uh, your cloud data set and use jupyter notebook to hunt on your cloud data logs as well right so yeah i hope you learned something and if you have enjoyed please leave me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe black pearl so that you know you can get all those notifications as soon as i upload a new video yes yeah? so if you have any queries any feedback for me feel free to load that up anything in that comment area okay i'll be happy to share uh i'll happy to see whatever you guys think about all this episode guys right so yeah i'll catch you guys next time stay healthy stay safe